the crown actress on the unique challenge of portraying Princess Diana in her final days. Greetings from Royal Family Ullid on my channel. Elizabeth Thibicki, an Australian actress, has been open about the weight of her role as Diana, Princess of Wales, during her tragic last days. According to The Mirror, Dibiki called the experience a unique challenge and said she adhered strictly to the emotional blueprint for Diana that was developed by Crown producer Peter Morgan. I consider portraying those days as an actor to be a really special challenge. I held on to the fact that it was Morgan's perception because it made emotional sense to me. She said to The Mirror, because it's obviously devastating and fraught, and we can never know. One of Netflix's most well-received original shows, The Crown, tells the tale of Queen Elizabeth U and the British royal family. The sixth and final season is expected to feature an exciting royal wedding along with the same blend of drama, grandeur, and royal intrigue. Part 1, which consists of four episodes, will stream on November 16 and Part 2, which consists of six episodes, will stream on December 14 when they return to our screens the following month. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. The reconstruction of Princess Diana's death has generated a lot of controversy. Some have called the massive streaming service sadistic and wicked. The late princess's close friend even charged that the show made Prince William and Prince Harry relive the terrible moment they lost their mother. Nonetheless, Netflix producer Suzanne Mackey pledged earlier this year during a panel discussion at the Edinburgh TV Festival to approach the enormous challenge of documenting her tragic death with the utmost care, sensitivity, and respect. The first segment of the eagerly awaited sixth and final season depicts Lady Diana and Dodie Alfade's developing romance. It describes how, in July 1997, the happy couple traveled to street tropes with Prince William and Harry Diana's boys. The show makes references to the catastrophic disaster that claimed the lives of Dodie and the People's Princess a month later. On that fatal night in Paris, their dark sedan is spotted pulling into the tunnel, followed by motorcycling photographers. The action then abruptly shifts to the tragedy's aftermath, showing glimpses of the late Queen Elizabeth Yu and her ex-husband, now King Charles Ayui, receiving visits from Diana's ghost. The second installment of the new series takes place in the early 2000s and features the story of Prince William and Kate Middleton's upcoming marriage, Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles' wedding, and Diana's son struggles to cope with her death. As a symbol of the Netflix writer's enduring regard and love for the late monarch, the program is anticipated to conclude with a stunning and appropriate homage to the late queen. All four actresses who have played Queen Elizabeth over the course of the six seasons of The Crown, Viola Prechon, Claire Foy, Olivia Colman, and Imelda Staunton, will appear together in the final episodes. Netflix's decision to bring Her Majesty's story to a dramatic conclusion, covering her entire life in 60 episodes, is seen as a cunning one.